that tool up his critics. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a like for the algorithm that does up the channel, bro. This was a tough, I mean, tough episode. It was still good, but man, was it tough after we saw episode one of season three. We saw the end of what happened to Kenny's mom. She got ripped apart by these creatures. And you see that boy is taking it hard as he should. And then you see the beginning of this episode when Kenny and Jim, they find more food out where out when they went to go find Tabitha out with the little huts and stuff. And you see the look on Kenny's face. He was so happy to find more food and bring it home to his mom and everybody. But we all knew it. And the community, they was taking it hard. I mean, she like I said in the first uh, episode, uh, my thoughts is that she's a big, she's one of the beacons of the community. She, Boy, Donna, her, and some other people. She's one of those beacons, and you see a lot of characters are taking it hard. Victor, Ethan, um, you have Sarah, Christy. She knows this is gonna just destroy Kenny, boy, because he, he he's built a rapport with this family, and he knows what it what the toll it'll take on Kenny. I mean, you just saw a lot of people you know, taking this real hard. Jade as well, you know, he built a strong rapport with his mom. So you really saw a lot of people affected by this death. You know, she she had the diner, you know, this is where people went, you know, a place where you can't go anywhere. You know, she's making this food for people. She didn't have to do it. She took the time to do it. So, and, and she was happy about it. So yeah, that, this, it was tough. Then you actually got to see how the monsters like take their time with people. Like we've never saw that before. We seen them just slash people's throats like Father Cotri and some other people, but we never really got to see them just destroying somebody like that. And they did it in front of boy. And before I get to some other people, let's just get right down to the stuff with, with Kenny like do you guys think Kitty is going to break? Even though we saw that heartwarming part in this episode, you know, once he gets back into the, t the town and um, Christy, she's trying, she's there for him because she knows this man has lost his dad to these creatures, now his mother to these creatures. And then he was about to go start that fire. And I gotta give I, I gotta give love to Boyd's character, like a, a true ride or die, true ride or die. Like Kenny was ready to go, throw it all away. Boyd said, "I'm coming with you. I'm coming with you. We finna. She will take as many mofos as we can, but you're not gonna go in there by yourself. I'm coming with you. And that you just gotta love Boyd's boy right there. Like he he." He was gonna stand by him, go up in there, knowing that they're gonna, they're gonna lose. But I ain't letting you go in there by yourself. I love that moment. It almost made me cry, like for real. And then you find out that the mom, she was sending a message through to Boyd, and um, and uh, you know he 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 remembered what she said, and then Kenny was able to translate it. I mean, that was what. Wow. That, that was a tough moment right there, man. But it was a heartfelt moment because you saw them both bond, a, a strong bond. They already had a strong bond to begin with, but you just felt it right there. You know, boy, it was there for him, you know, to the end. Like, I'm going to know with you. And then he was finally able to tell Kenny that she wasn't alone. You know, I was there. You know, they made me watch. And she, and she relayed that. She, she she said that message to give to um, Kenny, you know, he, and good on boy to remember that, what she said, you know, good on that. So that was, that was a tough, tough moment right there and very heartfelt moment right there because he is like a, a second father to Kenny. But to get to other characters, you see Sarah, she's struggling with the, uh, the, the death of um, Kenny's mom because she built a strong relationship with her and you start to see some characters start to get a little bit of trust with her a little bit not a lot but it's starting to get back julie she's she had her moment in this calling out her dad for leaving them because of what happened with the first son then the tabitha that he's you know she's already made it made it in her mind that her mom is taken out we know she's not taking out but they, they took her out the monsters 
and she's pissed. And she had her moment right there. I did not get annoyed with Julie. You know, she stepped up. She told her dad, like, hey, you got two more kids. You got to stay here because we could have got taken out too. You know, you, you took Kenny out there. Kenny lost his mom. You could have lost both of us if Sarah didn't step in. And so Sarah, you know, she got big, big ups in this episode because she saved their lives in the last episode. Then she got, she's getting a redemption arc as we see in this with Sarah. So a lot, I'm starting to like Sarah, even though I don't, you know, I, don't, I still got my, Jay still don't know. Jay, just, Jay still doesn't know that she took out his friend. So that's one person I still hold, I'm like, he can still go bunkers. Still go bunkers, still still be that guy what happened with um, Victor's people and take out the whole community. Like um, the boy's wife as well. But Fatima, what the heck is happening to, to, to uh, Fatima? Like, I think it's more to this that they're foreshadowing with Fatima. Uh, I don't think it's a baby. I have a theory. You know, and this is the theory. Is and this it, 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 it's out there, but is she becoming one of the creatures? It's possible. It's possible. Let me know in the, in the comment section what you guys think about this. But um, yeah, that's my, my that's my thoughts on that. You know, is she becoming a creature? Victor, Victor is pissed. Victor is pissed because he he, he warned them. He, he warned them that this is all about to uh, get real bad and it did and he was right and we understand why he did what he did why he didn't know why he doesn't want to help people get out and it's getting worse and we're going to see a lot more but to tabitha tabitha you know it took her a, lot, a while to get victor's dad to finally trust her when he started when she started talking about those children in the tower he said his wife knew this before she went into the town this is some interesting stuff that's going on. And we finally understand why these people are being taken to this town. They are the chosen ones to free the kids, but none of them are really seeing these children except Tabitha. Jay is seeing some of the people. He's, I don't know if he's seen the kids. I have to go back and watch it. Victor is seeing them. Ethan is seeing the kids. Um, we don't know who's talking to Sarah. So, we finally understand what's going on right now. And how does Tabitha get back in? That's something I'm really wondering. What's, what's it, what, is, what else is she about to find out about this place? The, the little boy in white got her out of there for a reason. I cannot wait to find out what's about to happen because we finally know that boy, them have been chosen to find these children. They don't know it at the time. Now Tabitha has the information, but how does she get that information to Boyd them to find these kids for they can all go home? Wow, great, great season three so far. Great season three. It's really about to get real testy. Um, not testy. It's about to get. <laughs> it's about to get real spicy right now. I don't know where that guy from, but um, we got Boyd making a plan with Ellis after um Kenny's mom funeral which was nice to see, but we got boy, boy's pissed. He's he's trying to get info now. And he's got it, he's telling Ellis, we got to capture one of these things. Now this is about to get real spicy. How are you, what is the plan to lure these things out? How's he gonna do this? Woo! This has been a inch, this has been an exciting season three right now. I'm glad that they're starting off with a banger with these first two episodes. Season episode one was a banger, episode two was good even though we got it was a tough episode it was still good but boys playing to catch one of the creatures let's get it and this episode ends with jim looks like this place is starting is about to start messing with jim now looks like he's the target of mind games now since the call came from one of his kids his, his, his son that passed away but post comments let me know what you guys think about this episode sorry about the little ice cream man coming in the neighborhood putting this little music on but appreciate you guys joining this let me know your thoughts about episode two season three what do you think was going on for tima what do you think how is um tabitha gonna get back in there now that she has the information what's really going on make sure you like and subscribe to the channel get you guys later